Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've uh, recorded. Been pretty busy. We went to Vegas for my husband's uh, work conference and I did do a vlog while I was there. Um, a, a couple of them, I think. And uh, I'm back in the craft room. And I was gonna start working on, even though I want to finish my, or at least work more on my uh, December, not my December daily, my December glue book, junk journal, whatever. Um, I have this whole pile of stuff on my other table, but, um, I need to start on my, uh, base for the ATC swap from let's make a mess today. So I was going to start on that, but I did want to show you some of the stuff I got for Christmas from my dear hubby. Um, he got me this set of the Prima pastel dreams, watercolors. I haven't even swatched them or messed with them yet, but I'm so excited, um, to have another, I haven't even opened them yet. Um, to have another set. I have a Jane Davenport set. I don't remember which one it is. Um, but I'm excited to try these and I just love the pastel colors. Obviously, I'm not a, a professional watercolorer or anything, um, but I like making a mess with them because they're so fun to make easy backgrounds with. And then I also got these water soluble oil pastels that are also Prima and oh my gosh, I just played with them just a bit the other day and I made this really cool looking um, this light is terrible. Let me see if we can fix it a little bit. <clears throat> is that a little better? Um, I used like three different colors and basically just scribbled a little bit right here and used a water, uh, used a wet brush and it's not chalky feeling or anything. Um, and it looks really, it looks like an ocean. It looks so pretty. So I'm, I'm totally in love with those. I can't wait to play with those some more. Um, and I also got a gallon of Mod Podge, which is awesome. Um, just because it's nice to have a gallon, you know, of things like that that you use a lot. Um, it's nice to get stocked up. And then I also got a 72 piece set of Prismacolor markers, um, which I'm also excited about. I played with them a little bit last night and I colored something and I couldn't tell you for the life of me where I just put it. Here it is. I played with these a little bit last night. Again, I, you know, I don't, I get a lot of stuff and I don't spend a lot of time practicing with it, but here's my Santa Claus. So I'm kind of learning how to do the shadows in the gray um, around the outside. And then I'm kind of learning how to outline the whites in like a light blue. So um, did that, did a little bit of playing around with some of the blending. Um, it actually did not come with a blender marker, which was a little disappointing. Um, I was gonna try possibly blending. I was gonna try to fill my water brush with alcohol and see if that works um, to blend. I don't know it should work, but I'm not for certain if it does or not. So why not try it, right? Um, before I spend $9 on an individual um, blending marker. But I probably should have cleaned all this up before I decided to record. But it's usually just kind of on a, on a whim that I decide to do this whenever I have time. And I kind of have the, uh, the hubby watching the, the dogs um, so that I can be in here and do this. So I was going to start out, um, I will not actually do probably the, well, I might do the video of the actual, what the ACT ends up looking like, but I may not post that part till after the swap. Um, that way, whoever I end up getting, you know, it'll still be a little bit of a surprise, um, for them, but I figure I can at least do the, I will call them underpants as well, like Lori Marie, because I like that term, so I'm term lifting from her, so to speak. Um, so I was at least going to sit down and get the, the base done and start to let that dry. And then if I have time, 
Um, I might work in the, the notebook a little bit and let me see. I think I also got a tripod. Um, it's one of those that you can kind of uh, bend the little legs to and get it. And I'm really sorry about that. I had this adjusted um, and then I kind of messed with it a little bit. So I'm trying to get it back to um, showing everything like I want it. And of course, I'm going to have to sit here and mess with this right now. Right, guys? Um, that's how it goes. The, the bad thing about this phone is every time I accidentally hit the wrong button, it's the stupid Bixby button and that thing drives me nuts. Sometimes I would like to tell the Bixby to just go away. And it's obviously not straight here. So, um, unfortunately I'm not, I've got this like kind of attached to a shelf. And yeah, it's not straight at all. <laughs> um, so I'm really sorry about that. I'm still, still trying to get this right. It might be a little better. But the problem is still that it's, um, so yeah, it's not going to show the whole, I'll have to, mess with it later, but I'll just try real hard to make sure that I'm still in frame while I'm working. Adjust my computer screen so I can see what's going on. And I also have a, a little bit better light, I hope, um, up here. Now, my, uh, my dear uh, late mother-in-law had one in her sewing room, so I decided I'd try to see if I liked it or not before I went and spent the money on an expensive hot light or something. So <clears throat> it's not an LED, but it will probably do. And I don't know what I just did with the paintbrush. So anyway, I am gonna have to lose this sweatshirt because I'm usually super cold and now I'm hot. I've been uh, trying to get a few things done so that I could come in here and relax. So, once I find the paintbrush that I got out for this, we will be golden. We would be even more golden if my space was a little cleaner, but that's all right. I did get a paintbrush out, and it's somewhere. Um, it's my glue brush, and it's probably sitting right here in frame. Yeah, see, and you guys are all laughing at me because it was right here the whole time. So get used to that because that's just how kooky I am. So guys, I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. Um, my Christmas was good. I got some, some great um, gifts and stuff. Um, I, I hate to say that I'm Actually, um, I'm ready. I'm glad it's over. <clears throat> As I get older, um, it's definitely more stressful than it used to be. You know, when you're a kid, you don't have anything to worry about except for, you know, getting all your presents. And um, kind of when you get older, you're worrying about the presents you get other people and worrying about if they like them or not. And it's always a little bit, a little bit stressful, but, um, so I'm back to work today and immediately took down the Christmas decorations in my office. So, um, I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this whole sheet. I mean, I, it's, um, and at least get the background done. And so, um, we're supposed to be making New Year's ATCs and this is really driving me nuts. I've got to figure out how to get this. I'm sorry, guys. Please bear with me. I had this set up much better yesterday when I was messing around with it. And um, I think that's better. Just don't fall. Okay, that's much better. 
Sorry about that. Sorry about all the focusing in and out in the arms. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm done. I'm ready for it to be over, ready to move on. Um, so I also got some Christmas money, um, from my dad and my father-in-law. So I've kind of been, you know, on Amazon, checking things out, trying to decide what I want to get. And it's always so hard because I just want everything. And I know that, you know, just because I want everything, I mean, I don't always use everything that I buy stuff and then it sits. And I know we all have that, you know, problem to some extent, you know. Um, and this is going to be a pain in the butt because it's that real slick. If you would just stick, we'd be good to go, man. So, of course, I was going to try to overlap the edge a little bit. And I'll go back and I'll try practicing with my X-Acto knife, which I'm terrible at for some reason. Um, actually, being able to cut straight with that thing, I always end up like gouging the side of my whatever I'm trying to cut and then I, for some reason I just can't drag that blade straight it just goes all willy-nilly on me um so yeah I'm, I'm kind of ready for Christmas to be over um and trying to make some goals this year well for crafting especially um yeah I'd like to make fitness goals I think that happens every year I could lose some weight, which would be nice. I would feel better, I'm sure. Um, and trying to eat better and things like that. But um, trying to make some craft goals too, I guess. I'd definitely like to participate in some more swaps, which I've done a few small ones and I'm doing the ACT one. Um, on the Let's Make a Mess Facebook group. And I just signed up today um, for a group that uh, Tracy, Aub I think it's Aubrey, um, invited me to the uh, Junk Trunk uh, Journal group, which is cool. I'm excited about that. And I did sign up to be a swap angel for that since sometimes it's just hard for me to commit I think I have a hard time with timelines and so I, I really stress out about things and it's kind of ridiculous because I usually, I think I've got anxiety issues to be honest because I stress about things that sometimes I, after it's all done and over with, I'm like, why, why did you even stress out about that? It like, it totally wasn't a big deal at all. Um, so I want to get a little bit better at that. And um, I think that the stress of getting things shipped out, I could probably alleviate by ordering some, some of the, the global forever stamps. Um, Cause most things I should be able to send, um, you know, stamped and not metered, I think, unless I just send some really big packages that need to go priority or something. So if I, if I order some of those and have them mailed to me and then some, obviously some domestic stamps and just have a nice stock of that stuff and some small and medium sized envelopes, I think it would be a lot easier for me to, to commit to doing more swaps. So I may try to do that. Um, I've also kind of got the planner bug a little bit again and the traveler's notebook bug and I always have good intentions to keep up with a planner. And I think, again, it comes down to like, I know that every week I would have to make a, do a spread and then decorate it. And, and um, I don't really do a lot of planning because my life is not that terribly exciting. I mean, I have a pretty set work schedule of eight, you know, or I guess it's seven to four, you know, Monday through Friday. Um, and then, you know, just various appointments or uh, kids' activities once in a while. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and 
I may just even leave that space there because that adds some texture. Um, I better pick this end up off of here because I got quite a bit of Mod Podge and it's going to stick anyway. Um, so I was kind of looking at buying, considering a happy planner again. Um, I was also looking at the uh, Prima planners. I think they're really pretty too. Um, I just, I don't know if I um, even want to get into it because it's just going to, and I try really hard to, to, um, I watch Lisa Rides again. She's a, one of, one of my, um, subscriptions on YouTube and she does, um, happy planners. She also does art journaling and stuff like that. She doesn't post very many videos. Um, but every time she does, I always go watch it. And she's talked a lot about, you know, not feeling guilty if you miss, um, you know, weeks, even, you know, a month or more in your planner because you can go back and, you know, do art in the pages and just kind of decorate it almost like you would a glue book, which I found that, you know, I did find that really helpful um, to think of it that way. So that helps a little bit um, as well to just remind yourself that, you know, if you... If you get lazy and miss a week, you can go back and do some decorating. And a lot of times with the planners, I would always end up kind of doing some, I would do more memory keeping than I would planning. Um, so I'd kind of go back at the end of the week and, um, you know, put some photos in or write down some, some things that we did, some family things that we did or house things that we did or any big events or whatever. Um, and that was like pretty much the whole reason why I brought, I bought my HP sprocket when I did was because I wanted to print out, um, pictures that would fit in the happy planner. So yeah, yeah, that'll work. Sometimes I just like leaving the little cracks there. Um, cause you can go back and. Um, sometimes I like having those indentions and I'll go back like with my uh, metallic pit artist pins and smear some color in there when it's done and kind of smudge it out. Um, you could also go back with some texture paste, I guess, if you wanted to and kind of um, add some more texture there. I mean, it just, it just adds another dimension, I guess. So I like doing that. Ah, so anyway, um, yes, so it's, it's Wednesday, the day after Christmas, and yep, we're, everybody in the house is back to work today, and, um, apparently the dogs just went upstairs because it sounded like an earthquake. Oh man, it's been raining here, and it's been so nice, um, to have the rain. It's actually been mild. It's been in the 50s, and it's just been raining Pretty much all last night and all today. Um, so it was a dreary day. It made it even harder to, to be sitting at work when I was thinking about being here and snuggled up watching Gilmore Girls again on Netflix um, in bed or watching YouTube or crafting and instead I was at work. So um, it is what it is. It pays for my craft supply addiction, I guess. Where's my cap? I was going to set my brush there. Um, I could tear up more of that kind of paper, but I've got my scrap. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Come here. You. Come here, you. I got a bunch on the lid here. On the... So... Let me see. What else? We don't have any plans this year for New Year's Eve, which is fine with me. Um, we didn't make any, and so far haven't been invited out to do anything. I don't like to go out anyway. There's too many crazy drunk people driving around. Um, I guess I'm old and boring now, so I don't mind having like a few friends over and hanging out at, at the house. Um, but, yeah... As far as going out to a, a 
big, you know, party at a club or a bar or something like that. No, I haven't. I don't think I've ever gone out like that on New Year's. Um, we had a party last year and it kind of doubled as our housewarming party because we closed on our house last year on December 15th. And so we kind of decided since, you know, we would just go ahead and do a New Year's slash housewarming party and it wasn't huge. I think we had about 12, 12 people maybe come over, friends of ours. Um, and we just had like snacks and I made a couple of big pitchers of mixed drinks and we played, um, oh, you know, Cards Against Humanity. I was going to say that card game, <laughs> that raunchy card game. I love it. It's fun, especially when you've had a few drinks in you. <laughs> um, it can get pretty hilarious. So we did that last year. I think this year is just going to be a quiet, um, I know I was, I was, um, disappointed last year because I missed the, uh, the New Year's Eve pajama party that Stacy always has on, over at Pink Poodle Crafts. So I remember being like, you know, a little disappointed in that because I was busy. Um, so maybe she'll do that this year and I'll watch that or maybe I'll, I don't know, I probably won't record or do any videos because, um, there's going to be plenty of big, popular people doing that. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to try to compete with that or rain on their parade because I don't have the subscriber base to go live or do anything like that. So, which is probably a good thing right now because I still really have no clue what I'm doing. Well, that didn't work out at all. We'll just do that then. Fine. And neither did that. This paper is coffee dyed, so it's super brittle. So, um, it just like teared into little bit sensitive strips. That's fine. That's fine. We will work with it. And it kind of gets to the point where this is just sliding around on me. Um, yep, so I started over watching, uh, Gilmore Girls again. I love that show. Um, and it's, um, my niece was saying she's seen it like 15 times because a lot of times she'll put on stuff that, you know, she's seen while she crafts. That way she can, it's still something she can listen to, but, um, she's seen it before so she doesn't get too distracted, which is what happens to me if I try to watch something new. I'll just end up sitting there and watching it instead of actually working on my whatever I'm working on. So, um, I was like, maybe that's a good idea because sometimes when I'm crafting and I turn on like YouTube and try to watch another crafty video, I tend to either not watch the video at all because I'm, you know, intent on what I'm doing or I sit there and I watch the video and then I don't get anything done. So most of the time, unless I'm doing like a follow along, like a mixed media mashup or something, um, most of the time I enjoy watching uh, my YouTube friends while I'm, you know, laying down at night to go to bed or um, sometimes I can watch it at work for short amounts of time or I can at least listen at work. Um, it gives me something to kind of listen to while I'm doing mundane tasks like reading contracts. So I can't always pay attention and watch what's going on, but I can definitely listen. So, so yeah. Oh. I'm trying to find thinner paper, which is proving to be a task. I've got a lot of thicker stuff in here, which doesn't mod, mod podge well. Um, just because the Mod Podge doesn't soak in to the thicker paper very well like it does the thinner paper. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of like cardstock weight paper in here. I guess I could go grab another dictionary page or got a whole stack of book pages somewhere. But that's okay. I want to get rid of some of this. I really want to get rid of some of this scrapbook paper. Too. So I'm going to try to work with what I got here. This box is getting way too 
big. Way too full, I mean. So, um, yeah. I When I'm doing stuff like this, I don't care if it crinkles. Like, it's crinkled. The paper bag has crinkled. And um, this coffee dyed paper has crinkled some. Um, again, more texture. Um, so I don't sit here with my squeegee and try to smooth it all out. I just kind of let it do what it's going to do. Um, and it just adds interest. So, well that's, that's what's going on there. Let me see what else. My husband must have went upstairs. I like talked him into coming down here to watch TV instead of staying upstairs. And then I like shut the door and start recording. So I'm sure he's... He's probably studying. Probably going to study. Um, I guess I'll put this up here. And yeah, that piece. Stick down, you. Stick down. And I like the, uh, the ripped uh, wipies because they leave little uh, fabric edges everywhere. And more texture, right? Nothing wrong with that. And I'm really piling this stuff on. So that's all right. Um, again, you know, this is basically, it, this doesn't look like anything right now except for a collage of a bunch of random stuff, um, which that's pretty much what it's supposed to look like. Um, so basically this process, kind of like I've said, is adding um, texture to the background and it's stiffening it up even more even though I've got a relatively um, decent um, it's poster board I think is what it was it must have been a leftover chunk from a school project or something so it's not completely flimsy but when you add these layers of stuff um, with the decoupage and then I'll probably go over it at least some of it with some gesso um, at some point and then you know whatever paint I end up doing or or whatever so by the time you're done doing all that it thickens it up even more um, so yeah I'm gonna go through and do all do this and then it's probably best for I mean I could probably rush it along and um, dry it with the heat gun and then start doing more to it tonight and depending on how tired I get or bored I get <laughs> um, I may do some more work on this tonight but most likely what I'm gonna do is get all the rest of this glued down and then I will probably let it set like overnight and come back to it tomorrow um, the biggest challenge I have with these kinds of things is, um, that's almost dry, see, so I gotta add more, is, it, of course, it's bending, and so it doesn't matter so much um, because by the time you cut this down into your ATCs, you can have better uh, control over bending and bending them back straight, so. Um, I've already got some ATC blanks left over from the last ATC swap that I did. Um, <coughs> but they're not the colors that I want. And rather than painting over them, why not practice um, making more, right? So, especially since I feel like I just don't get enough practice um, doing a lot of this stuff. I think that I do it once or twice and sometimes I get frustrated because mine doesn't look as good as everybody else's and then I just don't do it again and um, that's not helpful. Um, you got to keep doing it. You know, you get better at it by continuing to practice and um, try new techniques and um, so that's sometimes I feel like that's a lot of my my frustration is self-inflicted because of things like that. Um, I tend to just get frustrated if I'm not, like, if it's not perfect, you know, the first time that I do it. 
and then I just don't really commit enough time to like drawing. I always complain and lettering. I always complain about not being good at drawing and not being good at lettering, but I don't, I don't sit down and practice. I don't watch tutorials. Um, I notice if I try to draw a little bit more, you know, things start looking a little bit better, but, um, yeah, it is what it is. So I think we've all been there and done that. So, um, like I said, I'm going to let this dry. I think though that I'm going to go ahead and, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff down in my glue book, uh, junk journal, December, supposed to be daily thingy, but not. So I'm going to set this over here so that it can dry. Um, and then I'm going to get my, oh, bear with me, my journal out. And I've got all my paints and stuff over here. So I'm going to bring some of this over. And yeah, it's, um, my other table is really the table that I prefer to do my messy stuff on because I have a bigger, like a laminated desk calendar um, on it, like painters taped down to it um, so that I can make a huge mess on it. And um, I don't, I don't, I don't think the tripod is tall enough to to work over here, although I may try to see if I can't figure something out at some point. So I kind of have to shift um, what I'm working on over to this side. But I've got a bunch of stuff that I want to put in, and it's just unfortunately all over here. So I probably I don't I don't think I have as much stuff as some of you guys do for sure. Um, but I've been trying hard to collect some things. Um, oh, here are more book pages and stuff. That would have been helpful if I would have known it was all right there. But anyway, um, so yeah, let me see. I've got some card fronts. I'm so unorganized. <clears throat> but that's okay, because you're here because you like hearing me talk, right? <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. So, this, the story. I need to put that back with my magazine scraps. So, social skills. Interesting. I got all kinds of stuff over here. Oh, I've also got stuff left over from when I was working on my friend's, um, the dog, the doggy flip book I showed you. So yeah, I think, yeah, sometimes it's just hard for me to, to do some of this stuff unless I have a hard time just opening it up and just starting to glue stuff in. So I guess that's where we're going to start. And I feel like that this is not, I would like to do something with that though. Um... I don't know what to do with this, but I, I'd like to get him to stay down, so we'll see. See if I can't get him to stay down. So I'm still in the first first of three signatures in this book. Um, and like I said, I think I'm just going to start. It'd be a lot easier if I just went in here and started gluing stuff down willy-nilly random and um again I think I try too hard to like plan stuff out or uh, put a whole page together at once and I think the trick to this I mean because I've watched you know Dawn play in the fatty patty a million times because they're some of my favorite videos but um yeah I, I think I, I would do better if I just start going through here and just gluing stuff down um, at random and then just kind of going back and filling things in as I go. Um, yeah, and sometimes I, I'm only using this glue stick because I found it, um, in my, 
in the box of school supplies that I keep. <coughs> Normally I don't, I didn't really ever have good luck with, with Elmer's. And so I kind of stopped using any of it, but um, this one seems to work relatively well. Um, I, I did buy a package of the Dollar Tree ones um, a while back, and I like those okay. I think glue stick just doesn't like me. It seems like it sticks well for everybody on YouTube, and then when I use it, it's like, eh, screw you, I'm not sticking to nothing. But, um... Yeah, so, yeah, I guess I need to do a better job of covering addresses up. I have got my glue over here, which I still have the cap for because Miss Kitty has not tried to steal it. But I do like the idea of the pencil top eraser um, that someone just posted in the group today. Great idea. Um, cause I, I tend to lose it on my table more than anywhere else. <laughs> like it doesn't really ever fall on the floor. It just, I, I put it down on the table and then, and then I can't find it. Like where did it go? Right. Um, that's too big. I cut that down because I don't want the, uh, with love mom and dad on there. I just want the picture. So, there is a saying on the back of this. I pull it off without completely ripping it. I can. I don't know if I want to keep it or not, but, but hey, just in case. So, I guess I'll just go ahead and cut most of this blue off and, and go figure that this is a card front that's got a light post on it, <laughs> which I did for my uh, naive art, which I'm not sure that it turned out that naive. It wasn't whimsical. Um, if I think about a lot of the, of that folk art that I like, um, it really didn't turn out like any of that. So I think I was trying too hard to make it look portraity, maybe? I don't know. Um, I have a, a page that I did in one of my art journals. Oh, we're just making a big old mess over here, aren't we, Glue? Thank you. That's because I've had the bottle, um, stored upside down for a while. So, oh, thank you. Thank you for now getting on my, I just cleaned all my scissors the other day with glue gone, goo, glue, glue, well, it is glue gone, goo gone. <laughs> And then um, I wiped down my paper trimmer with glue gone. And um, I then went and got a piece of tin foil out and uh, used it to try to sharpen some of my scissors. I just need to give in and buy some new scissors, I think. Um, so. <clears throat> I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to get some of the, the tonic, the Tim Holtz Tonic Studios. I think I'm going to get some of those scissors. Um, the big ones and the small ones. I like them. So I think I could use these happy little trees too. <clears throat> They're pretty and happy. Okay. I don't know. Does it really matter where it goes? Does it? I don't know why um, this is so hard for me, but I think it would be a good idea if I did some of this just ran, was, allowed myself to be more random, which I thought that I could and it wouldn't be a problem, but I, I guess I'm realizing that it's pretty difficult for me um, because I'm always... <laughs> striving for perfection 
at something that I'm not going to be perfect at anyway. Um, but I think, you know, sitting down and doing some of this before I try to actually do an art project might help. Uh, I know that Dawn mentions, you know, just letting loose and doing stuff like this um, at times. I'm still dripping glue everywhere. That's terrible. I don't really want to set this back up because then it's just going to, um, I'm going to have a heck of a time getting the glue back out of it again. But maybe I will for a minute. Okay, this says, um, all the beauty of the season could never quite compare with the beauty of togetherness and love that families share. That's cute. It looks like I did come in here and put some stuff down. Um, put that there, maybe. That should go down with glue stick. Glue stick. Um, so yeah, um, I will be glad when the week's over and then this weekend, we're going to probably start taking our Christmas stuff down. Our Christmas stuff has been up since before Thanksgiving. Um, because like I said, we closed on our house last year on December 8th. And so This is so crazy, but I think I'm going to put it in here anyway, because I just, I like it. This is my stamp off sheet um, that I was making sure my stamps were working. Um, I think it needs trimmed down just a bit. And of course, I probably won't get it trimmed down straight, but that's because I can't for the life of me cut a straight line for whatever reason. It's just not possible for me. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to try to get that stuff taken down this weekend. And then um, one of my son's Christmas gifts was a desk. And he had asked for a TV stand in his room. See, it's not even straight at all. How, how does that happen? How do I screw it up so bad? Not to mention that the page itself is probably not straight. I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe I should just like make a flip out of that because I kind of like the back side too. <laughs> so maybe I should tape it in? No, I don't know. I don't know. I could... I've never done a flip in a book before. I don't... I think it'd have to be cut shorter unless I tape around the page. Right? I could sit here all night and try to figure this out, couldn't I? <clears throat> hmm. Well, let's see what we can do here. Move. Move. I just, I know that edge is not straight and that drives me insane. So if I cut it down just a smidge, then will that be enough for me to flip it out? Yes, I believe so. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it and see what it do. What it do. Besides, this is not about perfection, right? This is about taking this pile and putting it into a book so that the pile's gone <laughs> and you have a book to flip through at the end. So. Um, and of course I touched it. I touched it and now it's not straight. Oh my gosh. Not that it was wonderfully straight to begin with, but you know, it was. It was better. So. And it would be super helpful if I actually got tape stuck to the the page in the book too. And I suppose I don't 
don't have a where's one of my stinking gift card credit card thingies I don't know I mean I don't I really don't have to make this so hard here we go kind of like these bits of glitter that are stuck all over this too so what you doing kitty yeah I got Mimi the kitty hanging out with me um she doesn't jump up on the table she just lays on the floor when she was younger um and I used to be on the computer a lot at home she would always jump up there and stand on the keyboard and stare at me um she hasn't done anything like that in a long time so the most she'll ever do is if i have stuff on the floor she'll kind of mess with it but so there i made a i made a flippy floppy um so yeah and uh, do this the right way i really need to trim that this little bit off here so it's not constantly sticking to stuff that I don't want it to stick to. Right? Yeah. And I got most of it off. I can't cut. Can't cut straight line there either. <clears throat> but it will do. It will do. Um and I don't really want to be able to see that paper so much either, so. Eh, look at him, he's so cute. Hi there, he's pretty cute too. And he's cute. Look at all that glitter. Glitter. He would be cute over here, I think. I think I'm gonna put him there. This card was old, it's all yellowed on the back. I think I'm pushing a little too hard with the glue here. I'm getting a little too glue happy so let's see if I can't spread some of this out spread the love um, I do like the purple one because I can see better where I've laid it down and that helps and this might be now that I've started doing all this I'm thinking this might be not be a good candidate for glue stick because it's pretty thick and I probably could have used the aliens on it so that's all right. So crooked as can be, right? Because that's how I roll. It's crooked or it's a no-go. I had uh, stamped off some silver paint here. And I was messing with my Crayola pastels oil pastels here and I don't I'm not sure if these blend with the uh, now I'm tearing the paper off though I'm not sure if these blend with water or not they may not they they smudge with your finger pretty well um they were kind of they're fun to play with too but obviously if you're uh, doing it on thinner paper um the more you rub the more you're gonna uh start tearing paper off so, that's what was happening there. Um, and yeah, unless you're going to seal it with something, um, if you rub it, it's just going to come off. Um, and I don't know what happens if you try to seal it. I'm guessing that it would smear a little bit, which I don't care about. So, the original plan, obviously, I'm guessing, was to try to... Um, cover up that whole page with color to cover up that gross pink. Not that I have anything against pink. I just don't particularly like that paper very much. So um, I'm not going to get too particular here about my fussy cutting because I'm terrible at fussy cutting. Um, I'm learning to move the paper and use the back of the scissors, um, but yeah, I'm not going to try to get all 
in here. I'm going to do about like that. That's good enough. Um, yeah, this was a Christmas card that my mom gave me um, years ago, like when I was a kid. So, I don't know. I guess I could just finish this up. Or at least... Um, do around the edges maybe like where the Santa is not going to cover it up and I could I guess glue this down first and then do it wouldn't that be easy and then I could smudge over the Santa so now I'm going to have to fight with the glue because I let it sit up too long I just want to get this bottle used up so that I can go to my always ready bottle that I've had sitting in my drawer forever. Um, because that will be a nice change. And then I get a great big glob. I think that I screwed up this applicator a long time ago because I was trying to unclog it once with like a pin, like a needle pin. I think I poked like an extra hole in it. So I think it like squirts out of two little holes. Yeah. Instead of just the one. And I think that it's just, I've had that bottle of glue forever, forever. And I honestly think too that it's just old. So. We are going to glue down St. Nick here and his bag of toys and then I'm going to just go around the outside of the page with this here red and these are the uh, the Crayola oil pastels and I find them fun I like them um, know how this would work with a wipe. I don't know. I don't remember. It's going to mostly just rub the color right off. But it does spread it. It's definitely spreading the color. But I'm thinking that more comes off than actually spreads. Um, so I think these are more of a... Yeah, and I'm taking paper off now. Um, more of a dry blend. Let me see if I have my. You're okay, Kim. I'm not going to hit you. This worked really well for me um, with the Artist Loft pastels. Just using a, it's a like a rounded wine cork. Yeah, this works better. Um, I also have a package of tortillons. I don't know. I think that's how you say it. And they may not work as well for oil pastels. I'm not really sure. They may be more for like colored pencils. But this cork seems to work pretty well. Um, I mean, these are $3 pastels, oil pastels. So the fact that it's blending or, or spreading out at all makes me pretty happy. And that's the space where I pretty much like killed the paper. So. It's not going to do anything there, but like, see how it's blending it in nicely. And so like this, I don't even mind the little bit of pink that's showing because, um, I've blended so much red back over into it now. So it really doesn't bother me too much. And these little circles that are on this paper kind of match the big circles that I made. So yeah, I will, uh, besides ruining that sheet of paper. I think I'll just leave that like that. Um, yeah, that makes me happy. It's pretty. Um, the other thing I could do is I could outline it. I've got a black paint pen around here somewhere. I just saw it. I just sure it. Here it is. And I don't really know if that's going to do me any favors or not, but you know, Sometimes outlining things is fun.
And it doesn't have to be perfect because God knows mine will not be. So what are your New Year's resolutions? Um, you know, most people seem to have a fitness resolution. I used to try to do that. Um, there. Um, I need to get better at walking. I was walking at work there for a while. Um, and then that pretty much quit. Um, I was trying to walk uh, in the parking garage and I was trying to walk like a mile um, at a, during my morning break and then a mile again in the afternoon and I was trying to, you know, start off with that and maybe work up, but um, then I kind of quit and I quit because it's the stupidest reason. Um, the walking actually made me feel good. Sometimes I get sleepy at work because I do a lot of reading of contract documents um, and, uh, sometimes there's only so much of that you can do in one day without like completely, you know, just your brain is just tired, but it did make me feel better, you know, when I was trying to walk and I had more energy when I got home and I pretty much was doing it just for that reason. Like if I lose some weight, great, but, um, I just like coming home and not feeling completely exhausted, you know, and the first thing I want to do is like lay down on the couch. Um, when I've got all this stuff to do, I think I, I must've painted this together. That's fine if I did. Um, I don't really need the whole thing anyway. So what I could just do since it's already stuck together is just glue it. And then that is less work for me because then I don't have to cover the inside. I am so awesome like that. See, it's my laziness coming through right there. But if I can't get my glue to come out, I'll get irritated and then say, screw it. So, yeah, uh, getting back into walking would be a good thing for me. Um, yeah. <sighs> I, I always knock my glue stick over no matter how far away I try to put it or <laughs> it's just so funny because you can almost bet that any time I've got a glue stick out on the table, I'm going to knock it over and I'm just going to go ahead and outline these long edges, the longer edges in this oil pastel. I'm not going to, well, maybe I can get it in the heart. It's obviously not perfect. It's a pretty broad tip, so yeah. But I'm going to do that. Maybe smudge it around a little bit. And it doesn't smudge a lot, but it smudges a little bit. I like it. I like the look. Um, yeah, see, this is cute. There you go. Um, so that's my tag. It goes back in my pocket over here. I'm just trying to get this, I'm trying to get uh, an, another video or two done of this just because I want to be done with it and put it away and start on other things. Um, so I want to try to get most of this Christmas stuff used up. Um, and I could put him, gosh, he is so cute. Now that is whimsical. He is adorable. Oh, yeah, it's like coming out the side of the cap. <laughs> so it's been nice having the rain. Um, we did kind of a non-traditional uh, dinner. We had our, our Christmas on Christmas Eve. Um, and then uh, my kids, um, I had them for Christmas Eve this year. We've had my ex-husband and I have always had like a parenting schedule for holidays. So um, this year was his year to actually get them on Christmas. 
So anyway, we smoked um, brisket and short ribs this weekend. Um, and then that's what we had on Monday for dinner. But it was kind of an interesting weekend because my um, Ninja Coffee Bar, which I'm in love with, um, like just stopped working all of a sudden and I couldn't get it to run a cleaning cycle. Hold on just a second. Pepsi. I needed a swig. And so I was worried that it was just going to be like completely fried. And, um, I was, uh, so this was like Saturday maybe. And so then I just got tired of messing with it. Um, and I went ahead and just put it away for a couple of days because we were going to have the kitchen full of food and everything. My husband and I did, he did most of it. Um, he, he likes to bake, and it's not that I don't like to, to bake. Um, I'm typically the cook, um, and he is the baker and the grill master uh, and the smoker now. So, um, although I can bake as well, um, he likes... He likes being crafty with the baking. He actually made our wedding cake and decorated it, and it wasn't, you know, like... Broadway Manhattan professional but it was it turned out really pretty it was a pretty cake and it tasted amazing um so anyway he was doing some baking um we tried making what was it the haystacks and he uh he's not he's got to practice at the candy making a little bit um, I think he, both times he overheated the chocolate and it kind of just, obviously it, it's very temperamental if you, and <laughs> we couldn't get it to do anything at that point. That's the haystacks or the chocolate with the chow mein noodles, um, in like little cluster thingies, you know, uh, should I put that there? Or should I put I think that might be able to stay like that because it's really not. Ooh, let's cover that up. I have got to get that covered up right away because it's driving me nuts. And so this in, uh, signature is getting pretty full, which is good. Um, I guess I don't have to fill up all three. Um, I would just like to try to, to get some of this stuff used up but if I don't it's fine I mean I can put it away in a container and just add to it next year um if I would have spent a little more time on this like maybe not every day but even you know two or three times a week through the whole month sat down in here and actually we got a problem here this must be yeah, because the staple is not in the center where it's supposed to be. That's all right. It will be okay. The world will not end, and I can still flip through the book. So, yeah. Um, so, I think I was talking about something earlier. Oh, the interesting weekend. So, yeah, the, the coffee maker stopped working, which did not make me happy. Um, so, I was trying to do, you know, some internet research to see if other people had the same problem and there were other people that did and you know there were some other people posting solutions about trying to get it to work again and it worked for some people and not for everybody and at first I couldn't get it to work and so yeah I just gave up for a couple of days and put it away um and got my uh old little uh Mr. Coffee um, pod, it's like a, it uses the K-Cups, but it's not actually a Keurig. It's a Mr. Coffee brand, but I had it at my old job at my desk and I had just never taken it back to, I never took it into my, look at this. I never took it to my, ooh, I ripped or something. I never, do I even want to bother moving this over? Really? Is it worth it? Um, I never did take it to my, now I'm probably going to have to re-glue the whole thing. I never had take, taken it to my new job yet, um, partially because 
the the power situation there is crazy. So um, it was definitely a little bit of an eye opener when my computer came in and they didn't they didn't order it on time to begin with. I guess the 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 office staff in my office, and so I got there and didn't have a computer. Um, so they gave me a loaner laptop, which was super old, and um, I had come from an, another organization, government, public sector organization, so, you know, it wasn't top of the line brand new equipment, but I had had a laptop there with a docking station and two monitors, and I had a bare desk that I could sit or stand as I wanted to, but so I get there to this new job back in May and I was like, didn't have a computer. So I had to borrow a loaner laptop, which weighed, you know, 20 pounds and was five years old. And so I'm sitting there at my desk trying to see the laptop and I have, you know, not great eyesight to begin with. And so I think I had to work on that for like probably a week before my computer came in. But the point of the whole that whole story was that um there's two outlets under my desk on the floor and they brought my computer up the help desk people brought my computer up to install it and they didn't provide a power strip so they used all of my out all of my all four of my outlets um I guess three, so two monitors and the computer. So I had one left, which my desk was plugged into because the hutch of my desk has a light and then it has, the light ha actually has a little outlet connected to it. So they left me with one, virtually one usable plug-in. And so I was like, do you guys not you know, provide power strips, and they're like, oh no, we don't provide those, and I'm thinking, okay, because I would assume you would want your equipment to be surge protected, on a surge, surge protected power strip, but anyway, and then I remember um, they just left all these cords all willy-nilly under the desk, and they were like all draped out where my feet were supposed to be, and so, of course, stupid me says, you know, do you have some of those Velcro strips to organize the, the cords to get them up out from under my feet, you know, so I'm not kicking them or pulling on them or yanking them out or, and they're like, oh no, we don't supply those. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay. So, um, long story short, I mean, I don't know how my coffee maker got to this, right? Because that's the reason why I hadn't taken my one cup coffee maker to my new job because I had nowhere to plug it in too long didn't listen so I guess I'll finish my work story now that you're all like what happened <laughs> right <laughs> I'm sure I don't know if this is going to hold this or not it's kind of a strange plasticky material I guess we'll find out um so anyway I finally had found another outlet that was on the wall behind the, my desk is kind of an L shaped. So it was under my window behind the other, the, the side piece of my desk. And I don't even remember how I found it. I think it's because somebody else, when I was talking about having no power had mentioned that there should be another one and it's, it's, so it's covered up by the, the, the backing of the, the desk. So you couldn't see it. I mean, there was, you know, wood desk paneling there, but not only that, you couldn't even see the little hole in the desk where the cords would go through to plug into the outlet because, um, the, the, there's this great bit, there's this drawer there and the back of the drawer is super deep so that you can like put your purse in there, I guess. I never even realized those were like that until I'd been there like a month or so. Um, and so that big deep part just takes up, like covers up that space with the hole in it in the back where your cord would go. It was just, anyway. Finally figured out that yes, I love this one too that I had, you know, another outlet. So then I brought in my own power strip 
there's a cardinal for you, Don, if you ever, if you watch this. Um, I brought my own power strip because I bring my personal laptop to work um, most days. Um, it just gives me access to all my personal stuff as well, but it also allows me to kind of have another, I, I like to take it to meetings instead of taking notes. Um, and I, I didn't get the option or at least I didn't say anything I should have before I, um, when I was asked how many monitors I wanted before I took the job, I should have said, can I have a laptop with a docking station? Cause I try to be paperless as much as I can. And so I just try really hard not to, uh, have a bunch of papers and paper files taking up space. But anyway, so I got the power situation at work figured out. So that's, that's all taken care of. But the point of my story was, um, so that the coffee maker went kaput this weekend or so I thought. So got out my little K-cup maker, went and bought some K-cups. So I was using that for a couple of days, which is real, really hard for me because I usually get up in the morning and, uh, over the course of three or four hours, I drink a pot of coffee by myself. So, um... There were a couple of times where I was making two or three pods. Um, so then we were smoking the meat and we got a new, um, we had gotten a new, uh, a tat, we got a cold smoker box for our smoker, for our electric smoker. And it plugs in as well. So that was plugged in because um, when you're not cold smoked, we had cold smoked some cheese the day before, which turned out amazing, by the way. Um, but when you're not cold smoking, you also, you just keep your wood chips in there. So it's basically a bigger place for all your wood chips to go rather than just this little tiny cylinder. But it plugs in as well. And so we had both plugged in, we were smoking along, and we had been smoking for probably already six or seven hours, maybe, and the we lost power to the smoker on that circuit. And so we were like, what the heck? <laughs> that stinks. So um, I don't remember exactly what, you know, my my dad and my husband were looking at or, or whatever. They They weren't able to fix it, but they were able to take an extension cord outside and plug in the, um, the smoker to another outlet that was under the deck. So then later come to find out all of the Christmas lights on the front of the house don't work now either because apparently they were on the same circuit, I guess. Um, and it wasn't a blown breaker because the breaker box, there were no breakers blown in it. Um, and so that was frustrating because first it was the coffee maker then it was the the power outage in that circuit. And then um, uh, something else happened and I'm trying to think of what it was. Oh yeah, so Christmas Eve then we're having our dinner so I'm getting ready to make glasses uh, for drinks. And I go and open the refrigerator and there's no ice in the ice maker. <laughs> I'm like, the ice maker's now not working either. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm so done with stuff breaking and not working. And I, you know, it was really frustrating. I was frustrated by that point. Um, and so, so the good news is, is that I got my coffee maker to work. Um, I got it back out yesterday and brought it back upstairs and, you know, did a little more on it, trying to get it, um, drained out, um, like turned it upside down in the sink and clicked the little spring loaded button to try to get it drained as, as much as I could. And I finally got it to brew a whole entire cycle. And so then, um, and I had already run vinegar through it at this point. So there had already been vinegar sitting in the line, which probably helped. I honestly did not think I would have a problem with scaling or any of that in the coffee pot because we have a water softener and a 
reverse osmosis system hooked up to our kitchen tap. And so I was like, yeah, it's, you know, filters all that stuff out of the water and the clean light never came on on the coffee maker. But, um, anyway, I kept brewing water through it yesterday, probably eight or nine times. And even by the time I stopped, I was still getting white crystally stuff in the filter. So clearly, <laughs> clearly we still get, um, calcium deposits or scaling or maybe that's one and the same. I don't, I don't know. So long story short, the coffee maker works. Um, my dad got home from work tonight and he had kind of talked to a friend of his that he works with or a guy that he knows that's well versed in electrical and he went at, got home went out to the garage messed around with the uh there's a gfi uh button on the outlet in the garage and i don't know if they tried that the other day and it didn't work or if they just didn't try it but apparently because the circuit in the garage is connected to the one out back that we had the smoker plugged into so I came home and all the Christmas lights were on because he was able to uh, click that GFI back on. And so, so yay, um, the ice maker still does not work. So, and I think our home warranty just expired, which is fine because I didn't want to pay for another home warranty. I figure for something big like the HVAC, if it goes out, Honestly, I'd rather finance it and pick out what I want for the house because I believe the one that's here is original to the house. So I think it's going to go out sooner than later. But I would rather, you know, just spend the extra money and it's equity in the house. And, you know, instead of settling for what the, the uh, warranty people would give us, you know, buy a nice upgrade bigger more energy efficient that kind of thing when that time comes point being we don't have the home warranty anymore and i'm so squirrel all over the place aren't i it's terrible um so either we're gonna have to try to find the instruction manual for the refrigerator which is probably down here because the last owners had all these file folders full of the documentation for all the appliances that they left, the garage door, the uh, timer for the lights on either side of the garage, um, basically anything that, that had some kind of an instruction manual, they kept. So there is a red flashing light um, in the freezer when you open it. So I'm sure there's something going on there. And that's why the ice maker's not working. I would not be opposed to getting a new refrigerator because I want that gunmetal finish, not the stainless steel. Oh, the fingerprints on that are terrible. I want that gunmetal look, the kind of bluish gray. I love it. I love it. Love it. So I'm going to call this Don Calvin's page because it's got a cardinal on it. This is for you, Don. Oh, that could be cute. Um, so yeah, so it, the important part is though, is that my coffee maker works and that we don't have to have hire an electrician to come out. <laughs> I suppose that's more important and see what's wrong with the, uh, and I need to paint around that because, uh, he's ugly. I'm not, he's not ugly. The paper behind him is ugly. That's the problem. And I think I'll go ahead and clear up that, uh. Oh, that's cute though too. I wonder if I should paste this down somewhere as a flippy floppy. Because I like, can I put it there as a flippy floppy? No, it needs to go, I mean, if I cut it down just a little bit, I could, and then I could flip it open because I like the inside too. Excuse me, kitty. Can I use my paper trimmer? Thank you, you're the best. You are the best. So, I feel like I'm kind of in a good vibe, like I'm, I'm in a good groove here. 
with um, just kind of throwing stuff in here, not really thinking about it. It's working out pretty well. There, that'll work. Oh. What? There we go. Here, kitty. You can rub your face against the paper trimmer again. I'm going to use some some of this. That's awfully wide. Hold on. I need something a little narrower. Oh yeah, my watercolor owl. I was gonna put in here that looks not Christmassy at all. Um, but I lure him anyway. I don't know where he's at. He's in this pile over here somewhere. I can guarantee you that. Okay. I am probably going to go ahead and end this video here. I've probably done most of what I'm going to do with this tonight. And I may do a little more on my own, but I know most of my videos so far have been super long and I enjoy watching people's long videos. Um, but it's probably hard for most people to watch my long videos and especially since, um, I just, I, I don't have any like fans <laughs> or whatever yet really. So, um, I know that if like I had, you know, a lot of people that were like, Oh, I love it when Kim posts a video. It's so fun to watch and I could watch it for hours. That's not happening. So probably these long videos, I know that they don't get watched. Um, and I could just sit here and keep talking and yakking for hours. And it's probably already been hours. I don't know. Cause I haven't looked at the time. Um, but I'm going to need a potty break anyway. And since I don't feel like editing this video, um, I don't want to stop it and restart it because then I'm going to have to stitch it together. And that's a real drag. Um, I don't mind editing the video sometimes. I haven't used Premiere in a while. And some things are pretty simple. I took, I did a video, one of the last ones I did at the table um, I didn't notice till about halfway through when I looked back that my phone was, even though it was sitting in landscape mode, it was recording in portrait mode. So then I had to go in and fix it in um, Premiere. And uh, look, I'm going to put my cap on. Um, I had to go in and fix it in Premiere and actually have it flip the video around the right way. And there's a way to do it, you know, so that you don't lose any of the... Um, you don't lose the resolution or um, whatever. So I managed to figure that out so that I could post the video correctly. And that was nice. Um, and I did actually take a couple of short video clips before I started this video so that I could put them on the front as a little video snippet collage -y thing. But... I don't even know if I'm going to do that because I still would have to do some sort of editing. I think I'm going to tape around the corner of this maybe because I'm feeling like, but that's going to keep peeling up. So, um, I like the way that I really like the way that I'm, I don't know if I, if I actually continue to make time to do videos, I don't know if I'm going to eventually, um, make some kind of a cute little intro video or what, but I really like the way um, Dawn has her little kind of video collage at the beginning of her videos. And I always thought that she, you know, used a fancy editor to do that. Um, and then when she just recently started, you know, using iMovie, I was like, oh, well, she must be doing that with, with YouTube or something. And I can't, for the life of me, figure out how to do that on YouTube. So I got to see if I can. If you're watching, Dawn, I'm going to pick your brain later. 
because I'd kind of like to know. There we go, look. So cute, I love it. Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty much done with this. There's a few blank, few blank pages left in here. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's mostly done. So I'm liking it. I love him, he's so cute. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna be done for tonight. Um, I might go, I might work on this some more. I might get my ATC backing out some more. I might go upstairs and see what my husband's doing. I don't know. But um, I wanted to get in here a little bit tonight because it's been so long and hopefully I'll be able to get back in here soon and make another video for you guys. So thanks for watching. Um, feel free to leave me a comment anytime, and if you like watching me, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and everybody have a good evening. Bye.